Hello everyone and welcome back to Frog Watch. The tadpoles have been really active over the last few days, so we need to actually start feeding them. And I'm going to show you what I normally do to feed them uh, with some spinach. So I'm going to take you through the process and uh, show you how it's done. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see whether they're hungry. Okay, what I've got here is I've got a cup of boiling water and I have a spinach leaf and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spinach leaf and I'm going to dip it in the boiling water just for a few seconds and all that does is it softens the leaf so it's easier for the tadpoles to take a bite out of. And I just wave it around in the boiling water just for a few seconds just to soften it and that's all we need to do. And there we go. Then what I'm going to do so all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut up the leaf into small pieces just so that um, I can spread it around the tank and it's easy for them to kind of uh, get a nibble on. So once I've cut the spinach up into small little pieces, I'm just going to drop them in and uh, they will float on top of the water and uh, hopefully uh, it won't be too long before they notice it's there and I'll come up in and investigate and uh, they should start eating. So we're just going to stick in a whole load here and hopefully we'll be able to see them eat very soon. It didn't take long at all before the tadpoles noticed the spinach and began to eat. They have very small mouths and will wiggle around, tearing off a small piece of the leaf. At this stage in their lives, tadpoles are herbivorous. They will eat algae and plants. I feed my tadpoles on spinach leaves, but you could also use romaine lettuce. As they mature, they will progress to eating protein, but I'll cover that in a later video. You may notice there are lots of tadpoles in this tank. There are far too many for the tank of this size. I will need to release some of them back into the pond. But I just want to wait until they've eaten a few times and have gotten stronger to give them the best chance in the wild. The weather this week has been pretty miserable and I haven't been able to get down to the pond to check on the spawn there. But hopefully I'll be able to get down there this week and I'll have some footage for you next episode. So I hope you'll be able to join me next time for some more Frog Watch. Goodbye.